In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create depth of field with masks super quickly. So I've downloaded this still from the internet. And I'm going to be using this as my example image in this tutorial. So what I want to do is I want to create depth of field on this part of the corridor and a bit of depth of field on this part. So imagine I want to focus on this area here. So imagine there's a character standing here and I want to focus on this area. So I'd want to have this area slightly blurred and that area slightly blurred just to focus on the character a bit more. So first thing first, I'm going to make an adjustment layer to create my first bit of depth of field. So with my adjustment layer selected, I'm going to pick the pen tool and draw out my first mask, which is going to be for this part of the corridor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these lines on the corridor to help me with my mask. So I'm basically going to make a shape which fits with the shape of the corridor like this. And I'm going to fit it around here and then connect it back up. Okay, so with this mask done, I'm going to right click on the adjustment layer and I'm going to add my first blur effect. I'm just going to add a lens blur. So first things first, this will create uh, this weird border which shows the background color of my composition. So I'm going to go on repeat edge pixels to prevent this from happening. And next, I'm going to make the blur a bit more subtle. So I'm going to change it from 15 to 8. And as you can see, there is quite a sharp change from the blurred part to the non-blurred part. And the real secret to using this depth of field technique is to use feathering. So on my adjustment layer, I'm gonna go on the drop down menu, go on masks, go on this mask bit, and then on feather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really ramp up the value of the feathering. And what the feathering will do is it will basically feather out the blur and it will gradually make it so it goes from blurred to non-blurred in a nice smooth way. So I'm gonna put the feathering up to about 150 and you can see what I mean. So as you can see, it's gradually made it go from inner focus, gradually going, and then now it's really blurred. Okay, so that completes the first part of this tutorial. And as always, what you can do, you can invert your blurred depth of field effects. So as you can see here, now I've made it so everything's out of focus apart from this bit of the corridor. So keep in mind, you can always invert your effects to create cool new effects. Okay, so with this bit completed, I'm then gonna go and make a mask over here to blur this part of the corridor. So I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer and then I'm gonna make my new mask shape. So I'm gonna have the mask start here, connect this to this pillar, it's gonna go up to about here. So it's important to keep these masks a very similar shape to the source material here. So I'm actually just gonna adjust this slightly. And there we go, okay, cool. So I'm gonna add my blur effect, right click, and lens blur. So again, the blur is quite strong, so I'm gonna put that down to about eight again. And what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna press repeat edge pixel again, just, it's good to get enforce a habit of pressing this, because it's really important to use. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather it, but it doesn't need quite as much feathering as the first effect, because it's in a smaller area, so it'll probably need only about 50 or so. So I'm going to go on the mask, and I'm going to go on feather. I'll put about 50 in, see what it looks like. Okay, cool, so that's looking really nice. And as always, I'm gonna do an inverted look. And that creates a really nice depth of field where it's only that part in focus. And as you can see, it really makes you focus on that part of the image. So I'm just gonna put this back here. So with these blur settings, it makes the depth of field focus on the middle of the corridor. And if I invert it here, it makes it focus on the end of the corridor. And if I go back to my first blur effect and I invert it, it makes it focus on the very start of the corridor and the front of the camera. So there you go, that's how you add depth of field really quickly using masks. So this effect does work best with still locked off shots, but you can use this effect if the camera is moving. And all you have to do is go to the mask path settings and set keyframes so you can animate the mask so you can create depth of field even if the camera is moving. So as always, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.